Hi, I'm Goku. I'm here to steal your like and bring luck to everyone who likes the channel. Yeah, did you see? Many will say it was artificial intelligence and it wasn't the real Goku, but that doesn't matter. Your like has already been stolen. Do you know what matters? That I've reached level 2450. I've gotten all the swords in the game, all the capes. I even have the rarest one I'm using right now, Blackbeard's cape. And I even have the most valuable permanent fruit, the leopard fruit. It costs an arm and a leg to buy it, how expensive it is. And all this made me realize that I needed something more challenging, something that would give me a chill in my stomach. So I had a brilliant idea. To create an account from scratch, you don't want to see my password, right? Play on that account for seven days and I'm going to record the whole development to see how far I get. This is my new account and it's called Captain Little Lucas. And to make this experience even more interesting, the subscribers will create rules for each day. And now I'm going to start as every pirate does by doing the bandits mission. That's right, you can hand this mission over to me. I only need to defeat five bandits to complete this mission. Using the combat fighting style that comes in the game. Come here, you little thug. We have the first rule of the day. Lucas, you must play day one without eating any fruit, I guess. They made my first day difficult, but it'll be nice to see how far I can get without using any fruit that day. Come here, bandit. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. I've just reached level 30. I've been playing for about 40 minutes. And I've put my stats mainly into punching because I think it's much better to have good damage than good defense, at least at the beginning. After all, I have no sword and even less fruit. Finally, I've reached level 50, and now I'm going to test whether it's possible to defeat the famous Gorilla King with just a punch. After all, this boss is level 25, and I have some advantage. Come here, Gorilla King. You're stronger than... No, it will be possible. Take that crazy punch. I'm telling you, level up punch is worth it. The boss Igor isn't a match for us, kiddo. Level 50. We can crush him with just one punch. He doesn't even need fruit. What are you thinking? Yeah, I think I'm going too far. My life has gone downhill. No! Good. And we found out that it's possible. I went through Pirate Island! And every pirate I defeated made me stronger, bringing me closer to my goal. I got to the desert. I persisted, battling through each level with sweat and determination until I reached Snow Island, a place with the legend of Sasquatch. What are you looking at me for? I'm not Sasquatch. Sasquatch is here. Come here, Sasquatch. You deserve it. Wait, I didn't think it would be so hard to beat Sasquatch. I need more defense points. Get out of here, Sasquatch. I don't want to fight with you, buddy. I ran away from Sasquatch and finished day one, reaching level 115. And of course, I didn't eat any fruit, which made me spend hours and hours here. Day two. Invading the Navy. I arrived here on Pirate Island, the island where the first teacher who will teach me my first fighting style is located. And for those who don't know, he's hiding here in this false door and his name is Dark Step Teacher. And I'm going to talk to him and pay 150,000 for a fighting style. But it's worth it because I finally got out of the standard fighting style. And now I walk around with my hands in my pockets. And I also know how to do a flying kick. And by buying this fighting style, I'll be able to beat up sailors, which is always my goal. I'm here at Navy headquarters. And inside this first tower here, there's a secret NPC. Let's climb it. To climb it, you need the double jump. Without it, it will be very difficult to understand, my friend. Then you enter here and fall into this hole. Who would have thought that this tower would be a good place to have an NPC to talk to? And this NPC is going to sell me my first cape for only 50,000. I swear to you, all my hard-earned money is going down the drain. But it was worth it because now I'm a gangster beginner. And this is my black cape. A very good cape for those just starting out in Block's Fruits. Speaking of beginners, here on the starting island, I can buy my first sword. What? On day two, you can't use any swords, Lucas. Oh, I was just about to buy a katana and show you my martial arts skills. But it's a good thing I joined this crew called Fruit Masters. 
and they love helping beginners, just like me. And lucky for me, today we're on day two. And finally, I can spin a fruit and eat it. And I can't believe I was both lucky and unlucky enough to get a fruit from the kilo. Please, Slayer, spin a fruit for me, my friend. Let's see what Slayer comes up with. Please, Slayer, pass the fruit over. Oh, a fruit of darkness. Much better, Lucas. The fruit is a kilo. Hand it over, Slayer. Thanks, buddy. Go on, Pedro. Spin me a fruit. Oh, Pedro, you got the smoke fruit. It's not that good, but hand it over. Thanks for the fruit, huh? Gus, spin it for me, kid. Apparently, Gus doesn't spin. You can spin then, super fit, tattooed Rip Indra. You're out of money. Another darkness? Hand it over, there's no choice. I'll have to eat a dark fruit. Me, the light guy. Fruit, fruit. But now, with a fruit and a fighting style, I can take revenge on this Yeti. Come here, Yeti, you bastard. What? How did you dodge that, boy? It's not possible. But this Yeti is very powerful, guys. Better leave this Yeti alone, because today has been an incredible day. I've spent most of my time defeating sailors and showing them that pirates are much more powerful. And of course, with a fruit now, these sailors can't hit me. They try, but they can't. So it's going to be very easy to guess the level here. Day three, prison. I'm level 224. And as soon as I arrived at the prison, I found three boys. Got it, boy? Get out of here. The warden, chief warden, and also the famous pink cape, Swan. But there wasn't even time because I got a surprise rule. Solve a jungle puzzle and win a dark blade. Oh, how cute. The subscribers are nice to me today. To do this puzzle, I'm going to press all the buttons on Jungle Island. That's right, five buttons. And now I'm going to take a torch that's under the NPC on the bridge. In that secret door, there's still a chest waiting for me. Well done. With the torch in hand, I'm going to enter this house on Desert Island. Down the stairs and burn that door. Burn it! I'm going to take this chalice without the owner's permission. I've come to Snow Island. And I'm going to fill the chalice with this stalactite drip. Now that my chalice is full of frozen ice water. I'm gonna give this ice water to this sick guy. I'm gonna talk to this rich guy. I'm gonna activate my fighting style. And I'm gonna defeat this boss who stole all the money from that rich guy. Get over here, you little prick. You think you're going to rob people and get away with it, huh? You're going to take that beating from Lucas now so you can learn. Talk to the rich guy and give him back his money. And he gave me a relic. And finally, put that relic in its place. Here, on Jungle Island. By doing this, I unlock the secret room. Here's this level 200 boss, who's going to give me the best weapon in C1. The saber. No need to be shy. Hand it over. Boss bastard! I don't want this fight with this boss, no. Take it easy, kid. I need to activate my secret skill. That's the only way I'll be able to finish him off. Take that! Ow! Yes! Come here now, you bastard! Yes, Lucas! I freed the saber. And as well as freeing the saber, I also won a brand new dark blade. Look at it! Of course, I'm a big fan of the dark blade. It's my favorite sword. Obviously, I'm going to equip it. Here, I defeated the NPCs in the Colosseum with my new sword and my increasingly powerful fighting style. And I even waited to see if anyone from the server would come to the arena. But they were afraid of my new blade. Day four, a hot adventure. But we're off to a hot start here in the jungle. There's PVP going on and I need to spin a fruit. There are a lot of beginners fighting here and some of them aren't even beginners. I'm a bit scared that I'll spin a fruit and end up suffering the consequences, if you know what I mean. Come on, fruit NPC, I'll build up the courage. Hand over that fruit. I got a piece of cut fruit, I'm going to store it. Why are these guys all the same, man? Yeah, it's weird, okay? What? Surprise rule, beat a player with the first fruit you spin on your day. My day started off well, but now it's gone really bad. I left it up to you to post some statuses together. I'm going to put these 432 all in blocks fruits. I've never eaten a piece of fruit on this account. I've got an idea. I'm going to defeat these merman soldiers with my cut fruit. 
Because you know, right? I'm into women and swords after all. I ate the cut fruit. And then I can punch him, actually kick him and... Finish with my cut fruit. And then I'll go on to all the masteries and reach mastery 80 with that fruit. One more and that's it. I've unlocked all the cut fruit skills. And I'm also level 438, which is quite a high level. I woke up excited and did a lot of leveling up here in Tilapia City. Time to go to the Colosseum. But before I go to the PvP, of course, I'm going to stop by the Upper Sky to buy the Hockey of Observation. Because everyone knows that Observation Hockey is essential for good PvP. Okay, almost all my money is gone with 750,000. But now I can finally... Hockey! What is this ugly PvP, Lucas? Here you go. Flying fight style. Warm up your feet, Lucas. That's ugly, huh? Take it. I'll get you, boy. I'll get you. What's that? Take it! But rules are rules. I finished him off and managed to complete the rule. Finally, I'm reaching a high level. Just like the height I'm at here. Exactly. In the heavens. Level 497 with 1,521,000 cash. I got enough money to buy my new fighting style. By finding the mad scientist cat, I can buy a fighting style. Call the electric fighting style for 500,000. Finally, I got a new fighting style because that first one isn't so good, okay? And to test this fighting style, I'm going to eat a rubber fruit. It's quite contradictory, right? Take that! Here, you bastard. Take that. Look at the amount of mastery I leveled up. Nice. Day five. Boss's day. I'm finally on day five. I woke up excited. Already leveled up a lot. And I'm at level 561 with 1.3 million cash. My mastery is already well increased. 145. And I can punch like crazy. Take that. I confess it's not been easy. I've been playing for hours and hours. But we're already close to our beloved level 700. I'm using the double X code. Boss Yeti, you're the one who beat me up over and over again. The time has come, your end. My friend is still strong here. Oh, tough guy. Feel Lucas Fury and his powers of electricity. A rule was a long time coming. Spin a fruit and give it to a beginner. To spin fruit, you need money. And here in the upper sky, for those who don't know, there's a secret room. That's right, under the temple. So take that. That's right. And inside this room, there are lots and lots of chests. We can get them all. On average, that's between 6,000 and 8,000 cash. There's just one problem with this mission. I spun fruit less than two hours ago. And I have to wait 59 minutes. But I had an idea. Nobody said I couldn't get Samuka to spin a fruit for me, right buddy? You called the lucky guy at the right time, okay? Samuka hates fruit. So, he's gonna spin the fruit. And then, buddy, look what you got. Oh, an earthquake fruit, man. Not bad, huh? Wow, man, a little fruit like that. It's not possible, Samuka. Now I can give it to a beginner. Are there any here? I saw that there was one defeating the monkeys until just now. Where is he? Come here, man. Come here, man. Take this fruit. Let's see if he'll take it. Of course he will, right? Are you happy? I didn't understand what he said, but... He didn't say anything at all. He's already eaten the fruit and that's that. Oh my gosh. It was long, long hours and I finally left the upper sky and arrived on the last island of C1. The fountain. I'm level 626. And to welcome us to the island, there's boss Cyborg, the strongest boss in C1. I don't know why he's here sniffing the wall. Ow! You've seen his power, right? That he has to combo him, but... Yeah, I don't think we can handle boss Cyborg just yet. Day 6, a new world. I'm very happy, because here, on day 6, I've already found two channel subscribers who have been helping me, man, since earlier today. And I'm already at level 651 and have 1777 in cash. Oh, I forgot to mention that earlier today when I went to spin a fruit, I got a Buddha fruit. And of course, Lucas here ate it. And on the 6th, there's nothing fairer than Lucas creating the rule himself. Whoever reaches level 700 first goes with me to C2. 
and I'll give them their permanent fruit in the trade. Come here, come here, I'll show you. With the Buddha fruit, we can attack from further away. The boss isn't even damaging me, man. I'm telling you, it's the most broken fruit in the game. Here, my friends are in action. Take that, but I still have many, the many levels to go. So I'm going to stay up here with them. Day seven, the last day. Yeah, here I am looking a bit tired because I've never played so much blocks fruits in my life. And finally, that we've reached level 900. I can see it coming. 696, and now I'm going to do the last level of the quest, the cyborg boss. I'm pretty confident about this boss. Ever since I got the Buddha fruit, everything has become easier on this farm. I can show it to you. Dude, simply the ultimate blocks fruits tip. Try to get a Buddha anyway. I know it's hard, but make friends and friends who can help you. I use my last XP code, which I saved for last. Because double XP is the best thing ever. Take that little cyborg. Holy cow, we've reached 698. Man, just one more task to get to 699, man. Take that too. One more. Level 600, a surprise rule, was a long time coming. I dare you to get Yoru V2 before the day is out. And for those who don't know, the Yoru V2 quest is your lucky day. Follow Lucas. We're going to talk to this robot mega. Pay attention to the words I'm going to click on. This guy likes to talk. But really talk! Once you've talked to this big head, just come to Snow Island. And talk to the doghouse. Here, the talk is even more boring. Repeat after me. Tell me why again. Tell me why you don't give anything. Give me something good. You know me well. Of course, brother. The sun's mission has begun. There's so much bullshit, it's crazy. And now, you've talked to a doghouse. You have to come here. This fake wall on Snow Island. Take your Yoru and break this wall. After you break it, just take this letter and read the letter. You'd better not read it, bro. Love letter. One acquired after you picked up the first letter. You thought it would get better. No! It only gets worse. What? I can't come in here. Take this. Second letter. It's inside this house from the upper sky. I don't recommend you read it, okay? The third letter. It's behind the Navy Fortress. That's right. Back here, you can tell this wall is fake. Anyone could tell. Its color is even a little different. Break it down. And here's the biggest problem. Break this wall. You have to guess where the thing is. There are several walls for you to break. You can see that there was nothing here. We'll break these down. Break this one. One more. Another one. And finally, find the third card. Dude, don't read that, okay? After you pick up the third card, you can, of course you can, reset it to get out of that crazy place as soon as possible. After picking up the three cards, just go back to the boy's base and hand everything over to him. All set, you've unlocked it. A black blade title and your Yoru. Now it's finally V2. And if you'll excuse me, just one more level to go for me to reach 700 and finally go to C2. It's been seven days of gameplay. And now it's time for Lucas to go. After all, C2 is waiting for me. Hugs from Lucas. God bless you. Bye bye.